Sit down, show me your pretty face Don't hold back all the words I try to evade Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shweta. If you're new, do not forget to follow me here and say hi to me on my various social media platforms that is there in the info bar. Come and say hi to me on Instagram. Yes, I am back from my holidays. I had a beautiful two weeks almost in Jamaica and I'm back to the grind at this very moment and the first thing when I got back home is I got my Fenty Beauty products the new Galaxy collection and I thought I might as well review it ASAP for you guys and let you know what I think about it now I tried most of it as usual you know I went to the store to collect it so that I could also have an excuse not to stand in line and also if I wanted to exchange it is much more easier for me to go down and exchange it and test out various other the products i was very impressed with the eyeliner but i did not pick up the eyeliner because i'm an idiot but i did pick up the eyeshadow palette the gloss and i was not that excited about the lipsticks it wasn't too intense for me though the colors are really nice and pretty but i was told that this collection is a limited release so if you're thinking of buying it you can buy it from harvey nichols or you can just go to the fenty beauty website or you can check out at sephora i just did a very simple tutorial out here concentrating on my eye makeup the rest of the things that i used on my face are the fenty you know foundation and uh, the highlighters which i've done a review on that if you really want to see the top recommendations recommendations from the Fenty Beauty line then I would suggest you to please go and watch it if you're still thinking of buying the Fenty foundation then you must go and check that one out the only thing I can tell you when you're buying a your Fenty foundation make sure that you go a lot more lighter because this will oxidize so we're going to start off with the outer packaging and as you can see it's got a beautiful dual chrome uh, kind of an outer packaging can you see how pretty that one is and over here the Fenty you know the words are embossed in glitter when you touch it it's got that very gritty feel and texture to it oh at the middle it's that simple fenty beauty by rihanna and it says the galaxy palette at the back of it you will see that it's got 14 very beautiful shimmery eyeshadows now i am going to swatch the eyeshadow for you as well as the colors are stated in the back of the inside packaging as well you get a film that you can remove you got a well-sized mirror which is so handy i'm not going to swatch these eyeshadows on the back of my hand because i feel it is so wrong to do that for any eyeshadow palette if you touch it like if i just gently touch it you can see how richly pigmented it is especially this blue can you see how beautiful that is buttery soft in its consistency but i have to say i have to admit that you have makeup geek that will work just as well so we are going to start off with this green metallic green color called extraterrestrial the silver color called ozone then this is mars on fire this is cosmic ocean one of my favorite this is ultraviolet this is lightyear this is midnight bolt which is another favorite of mine then this is meteor crush this is sublime then this is planet x this is space out this is jupiter sand this is milky way and then the last one is sunburst which is almost like a dual chrome bronzy gold effect so so pretty the two colors that i worked with uh, for my eyeshadow is sublime and extraterrestrial i just wanted to go a little bit green today and look at that that is so so pretty we're going to start off with the eye makeup so i am taking the next wonder stick this is the concealer side and i'm just going to put that as a base on my eyelids to set that concealer i'm using the next color correcting powder in banana And I'm also going to apply the color correcting powder under my eye. As soon as you open it, this is how the packaging looks like. Okay, so it's further protected. And will you look at this? This is packaging goals. How stunning is this? Okay, it's got that metallic chrome dual effect kind of a packaging. This is the inside packaging. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Take the sublime one and start off with the inner corner and put extraterrestrial right in the middle. So I'm taking my Real Techniques, this is the blending brush, and I'm not wetting it. So sparkly, so sparkly. It is like you applying glitter dust on your eyelids and this is without wetting the brush. There is a bit of fallout for sure because of the glitter sparkle. If you are working with a glitter eyeshadow, always remember to do this before you apply your foundation and your other makeup. 
on the rest of the lids, I'm going to go with this Beauty Writer Extraterrestrial. So I'm going to wet the brush with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Okay, that's intense. Like every shimmer palette works much more better when you br uh, apply it with a damp brush. On the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to take this color called Ozone and I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner right here. Now I noticed that Ozone is not like the other two glitter eyeshadow, it's almost like a pressed uh, metallic eyeshadow. So let's just try with the finger. I'm taking Sublime and I'm just going to pat that. Look at that, how intense the color is when you apply it with your finger. I'm just taking my Miss and Mrs. Eye Pencil. This is the darkest, blackest eye pencil. If you saw my review of the blackest eye pencil in the business, then you would know what this is all about. And I'm just going to smudge that out. I'm going to apply my favorite mascara. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. This is their new launch. And I was wearing only this for the holidays, you guys. It is really, really good. It has these fibers in it that just makes, elongates your you know, lashes a lot more. I have no idea why it's got such bad reviews because I have been enjoying this a lot. And I am going to finish it off with some highlighter and I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Killer Watt Highlighter. You can see the review if you want to know what I think about this. Go check out that review. I'm taking a little bit of Mean Money first. And then on top of that, I'm layering it with Hustler Baby. I am going to use the Cosmic Gloss from Fenty Beauty. This is their new launch. And guys, you know my current favorite gloss is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. So I have high hopes, high hopes for the new gloss. So I'm just going to apply my Primark. This is the Insta Girl Kiss Proof Lip Pencil. Uh, this is the long lasting one. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Cosmic Gloss Lip Glitter in a plutonic relationship. After you open it, it lasts you for about nine months. This is what the packaging looks like. Very much similar to the eyeshadow outer box. I like the dual chrome effect over here. Very, very beautifully done, guys. This is what the wand looks like. And let's just swatch this. Can you see that metallic shine to it? Oh my God. It smells beautiful, very vanilla, raspberry kind of a scent to it. Uh, the wand is not my favorite, but you can work around it. This definitely has a lot of shimmer, guys. So much of glitter particles on this and it catches the light. It's almost like very similar to the gloss bomb. A little more stickier than the gloss bomb for sure. So guys, this completes the video. So my verdict on the Fenty Beauty Galaxy eyeshadow palette, it gets an eight out of 10 for me. It's losing out marks only because of the really intense fallout. And also the fact that this is not a versatile palette. You know, a versatile palette means that it would have an equal amount of matte eyeshadows or metallic eyeshadows and glitter eyeshadows like every other eyeshadow palette. Uh, also, I do not like the smell of the packaging. It, there's a strong, very strong chemically smell on the outside, which I'm not a very big fan of. Other than that, beautiful packaging, very beautiful eyeshadow. I mean, the texture wise, it's very, very pigmented. Even if you apply it with your fingers, even if you apply it with your eyeshadow brush, it will catch the pigments for sure. And if you wet the brush, my God, the intensity is a lot more. What do I think about the platonic relationship gloss? Oh my lord, it is beautiful. Look at it. It's like as if I have I have a glass on. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And it's that perfect pink, which you can wear it. You can line it over your liquid lipstick. You know, it's a perfect lip topper. 
or you can just apply it on its own. I would just apply it on its own because it's got that rich pigmented pink color to it and a lot of glitter and a lot of shine. And the lip gloss gets a 9 out of 10 for me. It just lost out on that mark only because it's a little, little sticky. Stickier than the gloss bomb which got a 10 on 10 for me. And I think it is only because of that high intensity shine and glitter that is infused in this gloss. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Do not forget to follow me here on my YouTube channel and I shall see you very soon and until later. Bye-bye.